Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a face shave, I've already loaded the brush. It's every second shave gets done with Mitchell's Wool Fat. Super soap, really, really works wonders in my opinion. Brush of choice for today is once again this. Now this, this knot is made by Serjan Danicic. He is Serbian, he's not Russian. So yeah, I've learnt my lesson. Serbian, really nice guy. The handle is made by his sister Olya from G Point Ceramics, both of which can be found on Instagram, both of which can be contacted on Instagram. Now, I will just mention that Serjan does this as a hobby. It's not a business by any means. It does it mainly for sort of... I suppose the best way to sort of put this for him is if you're interested in a brush or a knot being made as concrete and there's no issues with him with regards to contacting you, your money's ready to go, bing bang bong, you're done. No issues. People that mess them around because it, it can take up to three weeks in general to get the hair for your knot because he orders it in special. It doesn't actually have a massive stock of knot hair just lying around. Now this brush isn't mine, this has just been sent to me to try. But the tips on it are just phenomenal. It does feel very similar to the Simpson Best Badger that I had, the Chubby 2. But it's better. For a start, it doesn't shed. And it does look like, if you look at the top of that knot there, it looks like there's a few little hairs that are a little bit higher. And that's right, they are. They're not loose, they're just a little bit higher, just a few. And no doubt over time they might wear away or come out, which is absolutely fine. But it's not shedding. Oh, face feels incredible. I've got 24 hours growth. Now you might be thinking, oh, that's not a long time to have the, the brush dry. I've tried it in a window with a very strong wind current, air current flowing through the house. I'm just taking the soap off the handle. It's quite slippy this handle. I'm not a major fan of the handle itself. I do like it, I like the little bit of blue, but I'm not a fan of it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't look at it and go, oh, I want one of them. But this knot is phenomenal. Hand tied in Australia by a survey. So, if you're looking for pricing and you're in Australia, I can let you know, based on the two knots that I thought I was getting. I thought I was getting a 26 millimeter knot. The cost of a 26 millimeter knot is 130 Australian, delivered back to you. So if you send a knot or you have a brush and you want it knotted, you send in the handle, you pay for that shipping and then it costs you $130 for a 26mm silver tip knot, not the Manchurian, silver tip one and that includes the shipping back to you. So that's, I've got one on the way back which is a 28mm. The difference between that and the 28mm knot is a $30 difference. So you pay $160 for a 28mm knot. So in terms of price, that's Australian dollar. In terms of pricing, you can't really beat that. For a hand tied quality knot, and this is quality. It's not shedding at all. I lost one hair from this one yesterday. Just the one. And really, look at that ladder. Hmm. 
the Joe's wool fat. Absolutely outstanding. Cool. I nearly inhaled that there. Look at that. It's my son's graduation today as well, my my middle son, Mitchell. He's 11, it's his graduation from primary school. Oh God, look at that. And it feels incredible on the skin. It's not like it's rough and it's gonna give you brush burn, it's so soft. Razor again, because it was sensational yesterday, is the car Christopher Bradley aluminium with the B plate. And I'm popping into that today. I'm not sure how many uses is on this blade, but it's had a few, that's for sure. It's on the right way up. Doesn't matter what way you hold it. There we go. Persona. Super stainless, made in Great Britain. Vintage blade. I can't remember who sent me this. Let me see if I can think of his name. No, I can't think. Martin Rowland. And I think Martin Rowland, I think, don't quote me on this, I think it is the guy from YMMV Shaves. Your mileage may vary shaves. But here we go. First pass. Someone asked recently about the Permashap blade and whether I thought it was better than the, the modern blades. But to be honest, I can't remember using a Permashap modern blade. Right. Oh, the slickness is just metal. Honestly, I, I'm still quite amazed by this soap. Considering this soap was actually invented in 1903. No, 18, 1893, this formula, if it's exactly as it says it is, is still performing better than a lot of soaps these days. It's certainly the best mass produced product I've ever used. And for slickness, it's as good if not better than anything I have used. Look at that display, absolutely beautiful. And you can see how dense it is. You can't make a massive indent in the top. This brush will actually be making its way up to Mr. Stanway from Facebook. Who will then post it back to Sir John? When he sends out his iced orange soap. Anyway, here we go, across the green. So slick. I'm finding this hard now. I work in kilograms over here, so I don't know what I am in stones and pounds. 
but I'm down to 78.5 kilograms. Which, believe it or not, I think it's probably the lightest I've been since I was about 15. And it's all come about through diet. I've basically cut out all chocolates, all refined sugars. I'm pretty much living a paleo lifestyle with a lot less meat and more veg and fruit. Really, that's about it. I don't eat breakfast. I don't eat anything any day before 12 o'clock. So I eat my last meal at night, probably around about seven. And then that's me right through until after 12 o'clock the following day. And that works well with my work as well. Because I have my, I have a little snack sometimes when I start work or just before I go to work, I'll have a snack or a bit of lunch, which is normally around about one o'clock. And then I'm right through until crib. Crib over here is your, your lunch break at work, your dinner break, whatever you want to call it. I told you how good Mitchell's wolf fat is. I'll tell you what, this brush just creates such a good lather. Now sometimes, excuse me, when you contact Surgeon over at Rhodium Knot on Instagram, or if you find them on Facebook, they accept a friend invite or you find them in one of the forums or something. Like I said, if you're ready to go, you've got the money waiting, you're looking at, I think for a 30 mil knot, you're probably looking at 190 then, Australian. But, you just have to be prepared that there could be a wait of up to three weeks for the hair and the knot to be made. thick ladder. Absolutely super. The sheaves just keep getting better. And part of that is because I'm using the same razor over and over again and it just becomes natural to use it. Just show you the knot. You can see how dense that lather is in there. It just real fat. I love the scent as well. I thought it was going to be just too boring when I first got it, but it's it's a really nice, pleasant, fresh, soapy scent. Nothing spectacular, nothing to knock your socks off. It goes with any poche product that you can think of. You're never gonna, it's not gonna clash with anything. The scent doesn't hang around for long.
show you that note, look at that. All those little gel tips there, it's not like the whole knot turns into a big gel tip, there's just loads of little clumps of gel tips in it. And it feels so soft, like, it feels like a, a quality synthetic with a lot of backbone. So I'm just going to dry off the handle. Someone did mention to me about this, rubbing the brush on the towel. Now I'm not pushing down hard, I'm just literally flicking the tips on the towel. I've never had a problem with any other brush, other than my Simpsons and my Morrison Fondren. Now the strange one with the War Morrison Fondren was I sent that to the States, to Florida, with Kyle from Brown Man Shaves, and never had an issue with it. It stopped shedding, really, over the moon. But my Simpsons, I mean that thing was shocking, really bad. The Morrison Fondren slowed down a bit, quite a considerable bit when I first got it, after I first got it. And it possibly would have stopped here as well. But just from doing that there, nothing. You can see all those little fibres just poking up higher, but that's nothing to do with loose, they're just a little bit higher. It's hand tied, it's never going to be absolutely perfect. So there's, two, there's just two or three of them, just, just a little bit higher. But, oh no, I mean, look how dense that is. So nice. The handle does feel nice in the hand. It's quite chunky. It's heavy. It's solid. It feels like if I did drop it, it would possibly survive. But the other great thing with this is, and someone sort of mentioned it, it's made out of ceramic and pottery and all that sort of stuff and glazed. I'm pretty sure this would be classed as environmentally friendly reusable, break it down into dust again or whatever and then remake clay with it. I'm not 100% sure, but it's way more environmentally friendly, I would imagine, than plastic, definitely. And it's another bonus for it and it certainly makes me think it's a good idea to have one in the den. You know, at the end of the day, I know this animals get killed for this here. That's the way it is. There's definitely going to be cruelty out there with regards to it, but there's two evils. You've got plastic, synthetic knots, and you've got animals. And unfortunately and sadly the world has gone that way where we as humans, well, well some of us aren't really that human anymore, just breed animals in order to get things like this, which is, it is sad. And I think, to be honest, if I seen all that horrific stuff, I probably would just stop using or stop buying it at least, the stuff from the den. I mean, you can't do anything about this animal now, it's gone, you know. I'd rather it be somewhere where it's at least getting some sort of love and some sort of use. It's, not the best way to look at it, but it's the only way in my head that it sort of makes sense. Someone's killed an animal to get that here. Uh, by using it, it's not just getting wasted. It wasn't a death for no reason for that animal. And I certainly didn't kill it. I've added to the problem. I find this not, like I sound like a right morbid thing when I talk about this sort of stuff, but it's true. And it's something you have to bear in mind. Horse hair knots. No injury to the animal, no death to the animal. I mean, a horse dies, they might use the hair, I don't know, but generally it's cut from the mane and the tail while the horse is alive. And that's a big bonus. And they are quite nice. And I believe Surjan may actually be looking into horse hair at some point. And it'd be really interesting to get a horse hair not that dense and see how it performs. And soap. It doesn't really need any more introduction, but here we go anyway. Mitchell's Wool Fat Shaving Soap. Ceramic bowl. I'm really tearing through this soap at the moment. I really am. Every second shave it gets a run out and it performs. The post shave is incredible. It is absolutely stupendous. The carb Christopher Bradley razor with the B plate, 0.73 blade gap and a vintage pers yeah, persona blade made in Glasgow. I think that one is. Pretty sure it's made in Glasgow. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.